Hello friends. So now we are moving to another question. Question you can see in your screen right now. A square prism having a base of side 30 mm is cut by a section plane such that the true shape is a hexagon having two opposite sides 25 mm long and the remaining four sides 40 mm long. Draw the top view, front view and the true shape determine the height of the prism. So this is the question. I will uh, read the question again. A square prism having a base of side 30 mm. A square prism having a base of side 30 mm is cut by a section plane such that the two shapes is a hexagon. So listen. In the previous question we have uh, seen that uh, for obtaining a hexagon from a cube as well as from a square prism, the square prism should be placed on the ground equally inclined with the VP so that in the top view we can see it as a diamond, right? So, in the top view, we can start with the top view. In the top view, we can draw the top view as using the length of the diagonal. Since the it is a 30, the length of diagonal will be 30 root 2. So, it is half is a 30 root 2 by 2, that is 15 root 2. So, take 15 root 2. 15 root 2, 15 root 2 and 15 root 2. So, this is the top view of the square prism. We can label it as A, B, C, D, E, F, G and F. We can obtain the center also. This is E dash, F dash, G dash and H dash, one dash. This is our axis. C, height is not given. Height is not given. So, we cannot draw the height. Clear. So, that is all. <coughs> now, if you continue to read the question, you can see that uh, the resulting hexagon having two opposite sides 25 mm having the two opposite sides 25 mm having the two opposite sides 25 mm and the remaining four sides 40 mm and the remaining four sides 40 mm the two opposite sides 25 mm and the remaining four sides 40 mm clear so it can be seen that this 25 distances are lying along the y axis, right? That 25 are lying along the y axis, which means that will be same in the true shape as well as in the top view, as well as in the top view of the square prism, right? Which means if this is 25, there will be a value so that this distance will be 25. This distance will be 25. So, how can we obtain? At a distance of 12.5 from here and 12.5 from here, we can obtain two values. We can obtain two values also. So that uh, this will be the top. Is it clear? That means this distance is equal to. So, from this point, take it, uh, uh, draw a line at a distance of 12.5, 12 12.5 12 here, to intersect here, similarly we can obtain the four points. So, we can name this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. That means we have obtained the 6 different intersection points. Now we extend this point here. This will be the starting point of our section. And that point will be 4 dash and 5 dash. And this line will give you the end point of the section. If you are able to draw the end point. Right. So, the 1 dash and 2 dash will be lying somewhere this way. But we don't have the height of that square prism. So, at this moment, we cannot obtain that point 1 dash. Is it clear? Now, again, come to this true shape. See, this is 25 and this is 25 and it is given that this is a 40, right? 
but there is a problem. Problem is, if you are drawing a 25 like this, and if you are drawing a 25 parallel 25 like this, we can obtain this square hexagon in infinite ways because this distance is not given. So according to the way, according uh, so varying this distance, uh, we can obtain infinite number of hexagon keeping this 225 and 440. So keeping this 440 mm and 225 mm to 25 mm, we can obtain a hexagon in infinite many ways. So that cannot be solved our problem. So what we can do? See, in this case, we have these two values equal in true shape as well as in the top view. If you are looking into the top view, there is one more value is there, there is one more value that will be same in the top view as well as in the true shape. Understood? If you are looking onto the top view of the section, these two distances are equal in the true shape also. See, there is one more value which is lying along the y-axis that will be same in the top view as well as in the true shape. Do you understand which quantity or which dimension? See, this is also a direction lying along y-axis, right? What is that value? It is a line connecting the two edges and passing through the midpoint, right? So, from this, we can obtain this height. That will be the diagonal of the square. This height, so that this height can also be kept constant for obtaining this shape. Do you understand? See, draw a line. Select a point. Through that point, we can draw a line. Because this line will be same in the top view as well as in the true shape. So, take this value. Draw like this. This portion here. This portion here. Okay. Now, how can we construct this 25 into the 440? Any idea? It's very easy. See, this is a line passing through center, right? Draw a line parallel to this one at a distance of 12.5, 12.5, so that this distance is now 25. And it is given that this value is 40. This value is 40. How it is possible? Select a, uh, select a, uh, select a radius of 40. Keeping this as center intersect an arc. If this is 40, and take this as center intersect an arc in this line, this is 40, this is 25. Extend this line, extend this line, draw a line, arc at a distance of, uh, intersect an arc at a distance of 40, intersect an arc here at a distance of 40, so that this is 40, this is 40, this is 20. So now we have obtained. The length of section plane L. We have the length of section plane L. You have the position of the section plane, right? The section plane, the end point of the section plane will be lying somewhere on this line. Then only we will get 1 and 2 here. And you have the length of the section plane L here. So take this distance of L, the length of the section plane, keeping this as center and L as radius, intersect an arc here. Intersect an arc here. So that now you have obtained the height of the point, height of the person. And now you can complete, now you can complete the square person. You have intersected here. So what will be this point? This point will be 1 dash and 2 dash, the intersection point of the section plane. Now this will be the section, vertical trace. So, this will be A dash, B dash, this will be C dash and D dash. So, this will be your 3 dash and 6 dash. So, now you have the section plane with you. Now, royal line, now, royal line parallel to the section plane. So, normal, take this distance, mark here. Take this distance, mark here. Take this distance, mark here. Here, here, here.
You have a true shape right now. Clear? So, complete the dimensions. This is a thirty, and this will be twenty. Forty. This is the length of the section right that can be mentioned. Inclination also can be mentioned. Okay. So, from a square pyramid, we know that for obtaining a hexagon, it should be placed like a diamond. Draw the initial position or simple position. Front view, draw the front view. We can only draw the front view up to here. We can draw the axis, and we can. Now it is given that if this is a true shape, these two parallel sides, so 25, is lying in the y-axis. So that can be marked here as 25, 25. So that we have obtained the section in the top view. On projecting, we have obtained the starting point of the section, and. We can obtain the line passing through the end point. So draw this line also. Now we know that eh, this is also lying in the y-axis along the y-axis. So this also will be same in the crochet. So keeping this value, this value, and this value with the 25, 25, 40, 40, 40, 40. This is the only method of constructing that eh, hexagon. How it is constructed? Draw a horizontal line. Select a point. Eh, from that point, eh, take this distance. Eh, Locate okay, these two points. Then this is a total point for draw a parallel line here and here. Here also draw a parallel line. Intersect, keeping this as center and the radius 40. Intersect an arc here. Intersect an arc here. Intersect an arc here. Here. So that this four will be 40 and this two. 25. Then we can obtain the length of the section plane. Select that length, keeping this as center. Intersect an arc in this line so that we have obtained the end point of the section. Now we have obtained the height of the prism. Complete the front view. Mark the six po different points. Project and obtain the position. So this is one of the most difficult position, uh, difficult problem. Where the true shape is given, and we have to obtain the length of the section. And if you are able to understand this question, then all the questions can be done very easily. Okay. Hope all of you have understood this question. Thank you.